Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to do a bit of a different video. Um, I used to do quite a lot of art journaling on my channel, Mixed Media, and I've not done any for ages. This is one of my art journals, um, one of many that I use. I've done quite a few pages in this one. Um, and I've not done any for absolutely ages, so I thought what I would do today is do a little bit of art journaling. Um, that's a Halloween page there. And the one there, yeah. So that's my little sort of A6 journal. Well, it's a bit bigger than A6 actually. I've got a A4 one. I've got an eight by eight one. But today, what I've done is I made a little. I just fancied working in a smaller area, so I've put this little mini art journal together. This is just watercolour card. I'll tell you what it measures. It measures just over seven and a half by four and one eighth. And all I've done is I've just cut them to size and I've just scored them and folded them down the middle. So they're going to be my papers. It's watercolour card. It's 300 GSM. So that's going to sit into my journal and I'm making my journal cover just out of, I'll show you what they are, they're these little bags that I, just get my inks are all falling, these little bags I got them from the works, I think they were a pound for four so that's what I'm using. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this little bit off the end here, don't want that on and the same with this one here. Okay, and I'm just going, all I've done is I've folded it in half, I'm just going to glue this bottom bit down then it stays down and I've just tied some linen thread uh, round so I can slip my papers in at the end and I can take them out, you know, to page by page to work on. So that's going to be the base of my mini art journal. So let's just stick this piece down. Shall we stick it that way or that way? No, I'm going to stick it down that way. Let's just grab some glue. Yeah, so I thought I could do like a little bit of a mini series working in my mini art journal. Um, not sure whether that would be of interest to anybody, but I just fancied doing a little bit of mixed media. I've not done any for ages and ages. So I've just got, I've been sharpening my charcoal pencil and I've got charcoal up my nails and they look dirty. I don't like it. It is only charcoal. Okay, so that's going to be my cover. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to work on the cover. I'm going to take that off just for a minute. I'm not going to do the inside today, I'm just going to work on the outside of my cover today. So before I do anything else, I'm going to start off with a coat of white gesso. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the side of my mat, just like so. And I'm just going to use one of my sponges, I'm just going to wet it a little bit. And I'm just going to dab my gesso, let's put that in there, all over the front cover of my journal just preparing it to put other mediums on there I think I'm going to use my Jane Davenport colour sticks to do the front of my journal um, I think the inside cover I'll probably just collage just put some collage papers on there so yeah as you can see I'm just dabbing over with my sponge texture that the sponge gives, you know, putting it down with a sponge. I'm just trying to make sure that I cover everywhere. Just put a little bit more down. Just wipe it over my hands. Just put that sponge on there. 
my heat gun on and just dry off this gesso. Let me just wipe that up. I think I've unplugged my. I am just plugging in my heat gun. Took it out to plug in my sewing machine. Okay, so I'm just going to dry off the front cover. Okay, then. So let's move on. So there's my gesso dried. So like I said, I'm going to use my um, Jane Davenport colour sticks. I want a pink. Um, other colours do I want? I want a yellow, green and a blue. So they're the four colours I'm going to work with. So let's just, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scribble onto my background. I'll go in with another colour, go in with the yellow, which is actually called Brassy Locks. That one blue one is called Baby Blues. And like I said, these are the Jane Davenport colour sticks. They work exactly the same as any water soluble crayon, the gelatos and um, the Tim Holtz Distress crayons. They work pretty much the same. And then we've got Aquamarine. And then finally we've got Pout, strange name, okay so like I just said they are water soluble so what I'm going to do next is I've got a jar of water there and a paintbrush I'm just going to put my paintbrush in and I'm just going to move the colour just across my page. I'm going to try and do, I don't want to try and make mud so I'm going to try and do each colour separately if I can. Obviously I don't mind them mixing a little bit but I don't want to make a muddy mess. So I'm just, as you can see, just painting. I do apologise if you can hear any drilling noises or anything. I'd set up all the camera, got all ready and the neighbours decided to go and do some DIY, whatever it is they're doing, I'm not sure, but they're making a noise. So I apologise if it's noisy, if you can hear it. So let's just move this orange. See what I mean? The orange touches the blue, they go muddy colour, so I'm trying to avoid that. But it's an art journal and I was going for sort of a bit of a messy, messy kind of look, really. Okay, so let's go into the pink. Put too much water on my brush there. I'm just going to put a little bit more pink down here. may have to go over a second time and go and have a look when I've dried it how vibrant the colours look you'll see okay so I'm going to go into my green okay so as you can see there's no real skill to it I'm just adding water onto the colour sticks it's got a little bit muddy there let's just put some more pink up here it's better Okay, so I'm happy with that, I think. I'm just going to pop on my heat gun and just dry it off the water. Okay then, guys, so there we go. I've dried off that water. So I'm going to just start sort of putting some marks onto my background. I've got a couple of stamp sets here. I'm going to start with this script one. So let's just put that on my block. 
Um, I think I've got some inks here. I'm going to try these. The archival. I've got a fuchsia plum and paradise teal. Let's just put a little bit of this on here and just do some. I want to have quite a lot of stamping in the background. So as you can see, I'm just stamping down. I'm not going for neatness. I'm just going for sort of messy, messy kind of look. So I'm just going to put some texture down using some of these other stamps. I've got these circles here. Got quite a lot of texture stamps. I like using these. So I'm going to use this one. It's just a bit like little tiny, tiny circles. I'm going to use my Vibrant Fuchsia. I'm just going to stamp down just to cover my background and I'll hold it up to the camera when I've finished so you can see love this stamp it's great mark making stamp really is okay so that's looking good I really like that and I've got another one here which is sort of just little swirls I'm going to change ink because I'm going to go with this plum let's have a look what this is like yes I really like that on there maybe just a little piece a little bit at the top there so that's that one let me just grab my wipe and wipe over that stamp and um, do I want to put any more stamping on there what else have I got I've got this one here I do hope you can't hear that drilling otherwise I won't be able to upload this video if it's too noisy we'll have to fingers crossed it's not you can't hear it I'm going to use the plum ink again this is like little tiny dots I'm just going to go in again plumbing okay so I'm really happy with that background I'll just hold it up to the camera there then you can see it hopefully you can see all the detail on there now let's just get rid of this stamp okay I've been into moustache and I've got out some bits and pieces that I thought I could use to stick on the front of my journal these are downloads that I bought from Etsy ages ago I've got some flowers here as well in here so let's just take one of them out um, yeah I'm just looking if there's any anything else no so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a few elements let's just put my journal cover over there for the minute let's make a little bit of space on my desk okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fussy cut around some of these images just to stick on the front of my journal I like this big feather I think that can go on the front if it's not too big um, what else I like that, that flower there And maybe a couple of these little flowers there's not much area to stick things down but if I stick just a few bits and pieces on there we'll put two leaves on this one here this was by created by happiness in crafting GK from Etsy yeah I've had it in my stash for a while okay so let me just bring in my journal cover and just see if this feather will sit on the front yes it will and this flower on the back there okay then guys so I'm just going to start and fussy cut around these images okay then guys so there we go there's my fussy cut images there so I'm going to start sticking down onto my journal I'm going to stick that one there I think and this feather on the front yeah but before I stick those down I've just got my jelly roll white pen and I'm just going to put a little bit of shading just over my stamping hopefully if my pen's going to play nicely just a little bit of white sometimes it works absolutely brilliant this pen and other times it just doesn't work I'm sick of trying white gel pens this was supposed to be a really good one but it's not seeming 
to work like it should do. If you can know of any really good white gel pens that will work all over you after you've put loads of mediums down, please let me know. Uh, let's have a look if my Uniball one will work. Not as much as I'd like to. You can't hardly see it. I watch some people and the the white pens work absolutely great and they're supposed to work over any medium aren't they these Uniball Signo pens but this one doesn't seem to want to yeah so I've put a little bit of highlights over my stamping not as much as I'd like to if the pen would work properly just try it see it works on my hands and it works on the paper but it's just Just screw a little bit of scribbling. Oh, it seems to work okay when you're scribbling. Okay, so yeah, I've put a little bit of white highlights on there. I'm not too sure whether the camera will pick that up or not. So I think what I'm going to do next is I've got my... Oh, sorry about that, my punch has fell. I've got my these Derwent Intense pencils so I'm just going to put some shading around the outside of my journal cover and I think I'm going to use this blue one here so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line right round the outside of my page just like this Oh, I am enjoying this. It's ages since I've done any mixed media art journaling. I hope you'll enjoy it and we can do this, this journal book together. You know, put one together and craft along with me. That would be lovely. Can all work together. Just fancied working in a smaller area. Just seeing how I can get some pages together because I'm only used to working in a bigger art journal. So I thought it'd be a nice change to to have a go. Okay, so you can see I've just gone all around the outside with that Intense pencil. I've got my brush and all I'm going to do is just wet it and it just comes to life around the edge of your page. You can just see that. It only needs a little bit of water. Turn it down a little bit. As you can see now, it's just given me that frame around my cover. Just a little bit of water. Okay, so I'm just going to pop on my heat gun in a minute and just dry off that paint. So just make sure it's... Oh, that's better. If I use the end of the brush, it flicks it. That's better. Let's just go around again. Oh, much better just flick the brush as you're going round with the water and it works much better this is just I'm not sure what number it is this one doesn't say on it's just a little round one that I'm using I've got so many lovely mixed media products that I've bought and not used so yeah I'm really looking forward to working in this little mini art journal so I'm just going to put on my heat gun and dry off that pencil Again, so there's my pencil dry I'm going to stick these bits and pieces onto the front of my journal I'm hoping I don't need to get out the Mod Podge whether I'm hoping this will stick over the crayons it should do so I'm going to stick that feather just there on the front just like that and then I'm going to stick this flower on the other the back like I said, on the inside pages, I'll probably just put some collage, just some paper on there because we're not going to see the inside of my journal. This side here, it's covered in gesso and everything now, so I'll have to do something with it. But I'll do that off camera. So I've stuck those there. Do we want some more flowers on or do we think that's enough? And should I put these leaves on? What about this little flower down the bottom? I like that one. making sure I've put plenty of glue on then it stays on let's stick that flower down there 
I don't think I need to put the leaves on, do I? Um, it's not sticking that one. Let's just put some more glue down. Do I put the leaves on or do I not? Yeah, we'll put that one on there. Underneath there. Just going to give it a minute for the glue to grab and to dry. Uh, do we need this flower? Yeah, we'll stick the flower up there. Why not? We might as well use it now. Let's spread that glue over a little bit just to the ends. We'll stick that flower there. Just grab a baby wipe and cover it in glue. This other leaf. We'll stick it there. Stick it on the feather there like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use another one of my intense pencils. I'm going to use the black this time and I'm going to go around the outside of my flowers and everything and then we'll just put some water on is it black or is it dark blue we'll see I'm just going to go around the edges just like I did with the around the edge of the cover just like that and then around my feather well, you don't have to do this if I just like the the look it gives when you've you've got the black around the edge. You know you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. You just like it. And I'm just going to run the flower. my just turn it down um 
journal cover is looking so I'm just going to put it back together now I'm just going to put my string back through she says hopefully I've searched high and low in my craft room for some elastic and can I find it I can't find my elastic anywhere um, I'll probably just put a ribbon closure on here when it's full because it will need something and uh, do I want that on the I want that on the inside so I'm just going to turn it round a little bit just put this bit down that's it okay so I'm going to pop it in my pages and like I said I've done them like this and it's easy to get them out when I want to journal on them so yeah I'm looking forward to having a play in here really I'm looking forward to it I've missed my mixed media and I don't know why I've not been doing it to be quite honest with you because I used to do quite a lot of it like I said on my channel but yeah I think we'll uh, we'll get back into some mixed media videos as well as everything else because I have missed it and like I said I've got lots of products that I've never played with for ages and ages that'll be nice to get out so let's just put them in so there we go like I said it's going to be I'm going to try and probably keep it flat you know not put bulky embellishments on my pages try and keep it flat but I can always put a ribbon round to close it or something and all I'm going to do now I'm going to finish off I've got one of my Tim Holtz small talk stickers and I've just seen one that I was going to put down and now I can't find it um, bear with me one second here it is at the bottom and it just says creativity takes courage and I'm just going to sit that on the front where shall we put it we'll just put it on the front there just like so so there we go then guys there's my little mini journal there's the front and there's the back so as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch I will leave all my details in the description please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel if you do don't forget to hit that little bell which will notify you when I've got any new uploads so until my next video guys thank you take care bye